Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Chemistry Land. Today we are going to see about the topics suspension polymerization and emulsion polymerization. The reactions, advantages and disadvantages of both this polymerization we are going to see. Let us see. First one is suspension polymerization. So the reaction, let us see the reaction in this polymerization. The reaction is first monomer. The monomer taken in this technique is insoluble in water. The insoluble monomer is suspended in water. That is water is taken as a solvent in this process. So the water insoluble monomer is suspended in the water solvent and uh, it is agitated to form the monomer droplets. Then to separate the monomer droplets, the water soluble polymer is added. That is the water soluble polymer is polyvinyl alcohol. It is polyvinyl alcohol. It is the water soluble polymer, polyvinyl alcohol. It is used, it is added to separate the monomer droplets one from each other. Then in the next step, the initiator is added. The initiator is soluble in monomer droplets. That is the uh, the soluble initiator in monomer droplets is added. Then the reaction takes place. The polymerization takes place in the inside the monomer droplets. Then we obtain the polymer that is which is spherical in shape. It is spherical pearls or spherical beads. Then once again we will see the reaction. The water insoluble monomer is taken. It is suspended in water. Here water is used as a solvent. Then to form the monomer droplets. First monomer droplets are formed. To prevent the monomer droplets one from each other, the water soluble polymer that is polyvinyl alcohol is added and in the next step initiator is added that is it, the initiator we are taken is soluble in monomer droplets and it is heated and agitated once again. We will obtain the product that is polymer. The polymerization takes place, the polymerization is done inside the monomer droplets. The polymer product is obtained, it is spherical in shape, that is spherical pearls or spherical beards. Let us see the examples that is polystyrene, polyvinyl acetate and styrene, divinyl, benzene copolymer. These are the polymers or manufactured by this suspension polymerization technique by using free radical initiator. Then let us see the advantages and disadvantages of this suspension polymerization. First we will see the advantages. Here water is used as a solvent. So this technique is the cheap technique and the polymer obtained in this product is easily isolated because the polymer product is insoluble in water. So these are the two advantages of this polymerization. Next one disadvantages. This technique is highly sensitive to agitation and the particle size of the polymer is also very difficult to control in this technique. So these are the disadvantages of this polymerization. So we have seen about the suspension polymerization, the reaction takes place in this technique and the examples and the advantages and disadvantages of this polymerization. Next one we will see about the emulsion polymerization. Let us see the reaction in this polymerization. First one, the monomer that is water insoluble monomer is taken. It is dispersed in aqueous phase that is water to form an emulsion. Emulsion. And this emulsion is emulsified that is stabilized by surfactants. Surfactants that is soaps and detergents that is R C O O N A R S O 3 N A. This emulsion is stabilized by this surfactants and, he, and agitated and agitation is done then we will get the product as mesilis that is the surfactants react with the monomer droplets to form the mesilis. Mesilis is something about the aggregation of molecules in the colloidal solution. Then in the next step, the initiator is added. The initiator taken here is inorganic phosphates. 
inorganic phosphates so the initiator reacts with the micellus and the polymerization process is done in the micellus the size of the micellus increases due to the formation of the polymer so a molecular high molecular mass polymer is obtained in this technique and here there is no chain termination te uh, step takes place so high molecular mass polymer is obtained in this emulsion polymerization once again we will see the reaction that is water insoluble monomer is taken it is dispersed in water and to form the emulsion this emulsion is stabilized by the surfactants that is soaps and detergents example is RCOONA that is sodium salt of carboxylic acid RSO3NA these are the examples of surfactants so stabilized by surfactants and agitation is done this surfactants will react with the monomer droplets to form the micellus micellus is something about the aggregation of molecules in colloidal solution then in the next step initiator is added the initiator here taken as inorganic phosphates this initiator reacts with the micellus and the polymerization process starts in the micellus the size of the micellus increases due to the formation of the polymer after agitation after agitation the product is obtained polymer a high molecular mass polymer is obtained here there is no chain termination step takes place so this is about the reaction in emulsion polymerization let us see the examples polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl acetate polymethyl methacrylate these are the polymers manufactured by this emulsion polymerization technique and let us see the um, advantages of this polymerization that is here high molecular mass polymer is obtained in this emulsion polymerization technique this is the first advantage and the next advantage is, is the reaction takes place in the micellus that is the polymerization reaction takes place in the micellus and so the agitation process is easy in this technique and let us see the disadvantages of this polymerization here the product polymer is obtained this product contains some impurities of surfactants finally so the polymer is to be purified so there is a need for purification of this polymer so this is the disadvantages of this emulsion polymerization so in this video we will see we have seen about the suspension polymerization and emulsion polymerization of both the reactions advantages and disadvantages if you all like this video please share the video and subscribe our youtube channel chemistry lab like it share it comment it and also watch the full video thank you